My name is Kola Dedada. I work for Sitco Nigeria as a managing director of Sitco. Uh, in Sitco Nigeria, our major aim is to be able to raise the Nigerian farmers' productivity on uh, key crops of interest, which is also of national interest. Uh, we started this journey in about nine years ago, and uh, we're very uh, optimistic that we're able to change the Nigerian farmers' narrative especially in the areas of youth, which will also impact on their livelihood. Naji Labarin Iri Neme Kyo, Ingen Techen Iri, in the company Sitko. To Shine, Mokaro Mona, Noman Iri, the Shoronsu, and Mayanzu, Ga Ingen Techen Iri, Don Noma, Dahaka, Muno Mumma Monatin, and Nome Ija Noman, the Miki Da, Tender by Noma River, and the Monasum, you know, man in the river. So would Ingen Techen Iri, the Suzurish. In the Techa Ill Nashine, Sanada, Sabon one night to Dung Haka. To go on one with me, Idena so you know my Noma, Yazo in me, Iri, the company Sitko, then Samu Riba Noma. In Akachimak quality Masara, one of Masara de Kuagata, the Indakini Mungo Masara Taki. By and going to Kumaga, no we. Kaga, Mana the Illum Masara Illum one, one the Bata Gali, and my one in Tesco Tada Gali. So say one the Inkashu Kata. That about in Gentechan Gali on the Dakay Avinch, Kaga and Chigabakin. To Insha Allah, it then can a salmon Buhuta Latin Hector there. To one the Insha Allah, some Akalok some Buhusa Tin Hector, Kaga and Chigaba. Anytime you meet a farmer that has used a seed, for example, a seven one which happens to be a flagship, you've seen the, the joy on their face. How, and this is something that really motivates us because basically you are changing the farmer's livelihood, you are impacting his family, you are impacting his community. And so it's something that uh, really motivates us to go the extra mile to be able to, to deliver that. In a parent, the Samu one company me in Gantache Iri. Kuma make a cow and Iri one the Jamu are in Zamus Amu born in Iri. Zamus Amu Abunda de Temachimu, Machi de Yalamu, Harmamu Temachu. What motivates us basically is that uh, for any farmers that were able to improve their livelihood, you know. It's able to afford better things, it's able to invest more, and it's also able to have a better life. We do our local production, and uh, it's also a way of backward integration, uh, where we have a lot of hard growers, and uh, we ensure that they deliver based on uh, global best practices. The production department of uh, Nigeria Sitco is segmented into two basic uh, aspects, which include field production and also processing. The production in Anchao Farm here is, uh, like I say, is actually still segmented. We have the own grow farm and also growers. The growers, what we do to them is, we provide them all the necessary uh, facilities. We even give them the land, which they grow our seed with proper monitoring to make sure that they follow the procedures of seed production that will give us quality seed which will lift us high in seed marketing in Nigeria. We also have our state-of-the-art um, uh, production facilities or what we call processing where we can process to what best standard. For every kg or every gram the farmer is paying for, it's not he's paying for seed, not for, not for chaff. The processing is done in our factory uh, in Kaduna. Where we are now is the feed aspect. This is where all the production is done before processing comes uh, to take over from, from us. My name is Uluashe Yagola. I'm the processing officer at Sitco, Nigeria. We have a state-of-the-art processing plant that process 40 tons per day. The seed passes through the fine cleaning machine that removes dirt and foreign material. Afterwards, it passes through the graft separator that ensures no broken seed escapes. Then we treat with the best chemical to protect the seed from insect pest infestation. Afterwards, we package in different pack sizes that ensure the quality are sustained till it gets to the farmer. So that at the end of the day, the farmer can get uh, this right seed with the right genetic quality. Being the state certification officer at Kaduna, known for high maize production, people call from in and outside Kaduna to ask for particular maize varieties to plant. 
I recommended two of Sitko's variety to serving and retired generals. The good thing is there are good reports. Even on Sundays when I'm resting, they are calling me. They are willing to sponsor my trip to the farm to see the wonder on the farm. However, I know what I give them. So I'm not surprised. And this has extended to them calling on friends and other farmers, even those that are going to retirement, to pick up seed good seeds and enjoy what they are enjoying. So I think it's work in progress. And uh, Sitco's partnership with National Agri -Seed, uh, Agricultural Seed Council will continue. However, standard must be maintained. Uh, we've also been able to invest in uh, distribution infrastructure, which is able to deliver on uh, the right uh, germination, which we call viability. Uh, in most of our sales nodes today, I think we have like 15 sales nodes across Nigeria and it keeps on going. We have uh, what we call adaptive um, technology, which is about uh, trying to deliver the right uh, environment for seed in terms of temperature and in terms of uh, the right uh, relative humidity. And we've seen this really because it has really raised the believability of our promise to the farmers. Because farmers are sure that they can get uh, the right seed with the right genetic quality and also with the right uh, uh, viability from our store. And with this, we've seen uh, increased visibility, increased acceptance as we lead the arbitration agenda. My name is John Agbola. I am the marketing lead for Sitco Nigeria. We we'll welcome all our farmers to our sales outlet. We we'll have our outlet across different locations in Nigeria. We we'll have from Kaduna to Jos to Kano, Ishain, Edo, Kotongora, and lots more. These are sales outlet also serve as a means or place where you can get your seed at the right place, in the right quantity, and at the right time. We we'll always ensure that our farmers get quality seed at their convenient places. And in our sales outlets, you have access to our agronomies that take you through the choice of your variety that is suitable for your location. They also guide you on the right agronomy tips to ensure that you have a very smooth process of cultivation. In our same outlet, we ensure that our cold room is 24 hours running to ensure the quality you are getting from us is good. And at the end of it all, you can always call on us and we're always there to listen and support you when you need our support on the field. You can also make use of our other cashless payment option for your transaction. Thank you. Quality is very important, not just in terms of physical, genetic, and also biological quality. And that is why from the end to end of the business, quality is something that we spend a lot of time on. Okay, and what we call it from a global perspective, we call it quality for sure. So that the farmers at the end of the day, whatever seed is getting, is sure is getting the right seed with the right DNA component that will deliver the best seed for you. and I'm the quality assurance lead for Sipo Nigeria. Our quality assurance mantra is pure for sure and it starts from the field. This is where we assure genetic purity down to our storage facility where biological purity is preserved. We also ensure that the seeds are delivered to our customers in excellent physical conditions. To achieve our pure for sure agenda, we have set up several quality initiatives such as the installation of cold room facility across all our sales outlets, a modern QC lab where all pre and post processing quality checks are carried out. Our state of the heart processing plant is also in place to ensure quality seed conditioning. Here at Seedco, we ensure only seeds of the purest standard is delivered because we are committed to ensure that our farmers get the bumper harvest.
saboda ka ina ba ƴan uwa na mu noma shawara ga duk wanda zai noma ya nemi ingantaccen iri tun anan noma ke tashi in ka gaza sayen iri ingantacce to tun a noma ka fadi sakamakon in baka samu ingantaccen iri ba memakon abin da zaka samu riban noma ba zaka same shi ba abin da yasa nake gaya muku ba a nan Najeriya ba ko Africa in zaka yi noma to ya kamata ka daure ka nemi duk inda iri na company state ko yake ne don kai saboda ci gaban da aka samu da an bar mu a baya amma yanzu sakamakon ingantaccen iri da azu da shi noma zai habaka mun noma bana kuwa abin da muka noma hekta 30 ne kuma da muka noma wancan hekta 10 ma a baya a hekta guda mun samu sama da 13 tons wanda in za muka noma sauran barantis muna samun bai wuce 5 6 amma wannan ya ninka ga saukin aiki ga saukin zuwa ga shi kuma shan takin ma ba dai bane saboda haka irin seat ko ya fi kowane iri a cikin irin rika wanda muka gwada don mun gwada mun gani mu kasar noman mu ba wai kasa ne guri ne da muke noma wa za mu diba mu gyara mu noma ko mu ga abin da ya fitar mana sannan mu gura da wanda muka yi a baya saboda haka mun gwada mun duba mun ga irin seat ko shine irin da ya kamata mu noman najeriya su nema to alhamdulillah muna ma manoma na gargajiya albishir ma sai irin seat ko in ma da kana sai to bana in kana sai ton 1.2 ne ka shuka a gonnan ka to bana ka sai kamar ne hekta 30 40 ne ka gaba zaka samu to da insha Allah mu ga ne da irin fita 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 irin mana ba bai taba fita ba ta samu aiki akan ka'ida kuma akan kari masaran ya samu abin da ke so na bangaren gyara da isa shirin ruwan sama kamar bana ba lokacin da muka fara noman sitko sun zo sun canza mana yadda ake noma da muke yi mun koma noma irin na zamani misali tun daga lokacin da za a fara sharar gona sun nuna mana ga yadda za a yi sharar gona aka zo lokacin da za a fara yin huda suka zo suka nuna mana ga yadda ma suke so a huda yawan kuyyan a baya in muna a gona a hetta daya in muna hude kuyya 100 ne suka nuna mana ga yadda za mu koma gona ta koma kuyya 150 na biyu kenan na uku suka koya mana suka koma muna mana yadda ake shuki a kuyya daya misali rijin guda daya in muna shuka tushe dubu daya ne suka nuna mana ga yadda za mu shuka ta dawo tushe dubu biyu kaga ko anan guda uku da na baka misali cikin abubuwa fiye da guda 20 da su koya mana ci gaba isashe kenan gaskiya muna ta yi mutane murna kamar duk wanda ya samu wannan iri a kasuwa ya saya ba zai kuka da wanda ya noma ba to kaga da mu da muka yi noman da su wada jagoran da suka kula da mu kaga abun bai tsaya iya kan kudin da za mu samu ba har za mu samu ladan mutanen da za su yi wannan iri su noma domin wannan irin lokacin da aka fada mana farko cewan yana commercial nashi wanda mutun zai saya ya shuka yana yin buhu 70 mu mun dauka kariya ne amma a bana akwai wadanda suka gwada irin sun tabbatar mai da cewa wannan irin yana wuce haka fa hekta yana wuce yana wuce ton bakwai wasu akwai wanda ya ce mun nashi ma yayi ton tara a hekta daya wanda mu mun saba mun yi noma ba ya wuce ton uku ton biyu da rabi gaskiya alhamdulillah wannan irin ya fita yadda muke bukata alhamdulillah muna godiya ga company sitko da suka kawo mana wannan tsare tsare na noma kuma sun samu ramu da mutane aikin yi a wannan wuri domin labororin mu da in an zo daga julai zuwa august watan bakwai zuwa watan takwas suna rasa aikin yi amma a wannan tsakanin muka yi da tasilin kowa ya samu aikin yi wannan gona muna shigo da laburori a kalla mutun 500 a kowata rana suna zuwa suna aiki a wannan wuri dan haka in ka duba dukkan gonan da take nan gonan we have over 500 hectares a nan wuri wanda muka noma amma ba za ka ga wata gona da a samu matsala wurin da tasilin ba gaskiya laburorin mu su ma su ma sun ba mu hadin kai a wannan aiki so these are the things we've been able to put in place to ensure that the farmers get uh, the right heat, what we call the home of bomb harvest.